before starting the video i would like to tell you please do subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and also like the video share if you feel these videos are being helpful for you and also let me know also let me know in the comments that how you are writing your exams so here comes object oriented programming through java and uh, before starting this video again i just want to reiterate that uh, the questions and topics described or explained in this video might or might not appear in exam because it is difficult to judge the question paper how it is going to come and which question is going to come from where but surely this video will definitely help you for, to prepare for your exams we have made it cut short and we have highlighted the important things here and also at the end of the video you can just check with the previous question paper and if you want to if you want to know how this works and how this uh, java programming thing works then you just uh, stick to the video please what do watch the video till the end and uh, also please press the notification bell icon there because whenever i post a video a notification will appear for you and uh, it will make you easy to uh, get the videos on time so now coming to the first thing uh, first segment here syllabus so syllabus you can see it is pretty vast so there are a lot of things covered here but if you check with this if you go in a little deep into this syllabus you will understand that uh, this is the all the basic things they are explaining you the basic things of java and how you have to perform here so object oriented thinking and java basics so a need for oop paradigm and uh, all these uh, things will be covered in the syllabus so basic things if we if i had to explain this uh, a little in the easier language so i just want to tell that this first unit is basically about introduction to java and uh, to object oriented programming so this is the basic you will you will read here history and how java as a language was developed and how these classes the garbage collections and everything was uh, uh, discovered so you'll learn this and how this is formed sequentially you will learn this. and in unit 2 you have inheritance packages and interface so basically inheritance and packages and interfaces are something uh, which you will understand while ever whenever you are coding so once you start your coding things you will understand what are packages how these are uh, done and interfaces and everything so unit 3 talks about uh, exception handling and multi threading so you can just analyze that and uh, in unit 4 you will have uh, event handling events event sources event class awt awt class hierarchy and uh, scroll pane dialogs menu bars graphics layout managers so all these things and uh, unit 5 applets applets you know this is a concept uh, where you have to learn so basically this is the most easiest uh, uh, thing to learn in java i feel but what i just let me know what you feel in the comments that which unit is hard in this subject and also let me know how you are writing your exams so now coming to tips to pass uh, prepare three chapters perfectly focus on short questions as i say in mi every video you need to focus on short questions because short question gives you 10 marks even if you get four to five marks then definitely it will help you in getting the pass marks so you need to prepare one two three four five as usual because there is no change here because if you watch the syllabus here again if you watch the syllabus then you will understand the first two units are basics third fourth and fifth are execution so without learning the basics you cannot learn the execution so i'm really sorry about this problems are not mandatory in this but writing a code is important in exam they might ask you about how to write a code for something they might ask but problems are not mandatory here i am sorry by the mistake we have written here problems are mandatory okay and coming to the important topics for unit one uh, need and summary of for OOP paradigm and then single dimension and two dimension array what is array and uh, single dimension two dimension you have types of arrays right while and for loops so there is while loop whenever you are writing a program there is a while loop and there is a for loop so where they are used how they are used it, you might expect a question from that concept of classes objects construction methods and then there is garbage collection so these are the important topics now coming to the important question so guys if you feel i am going really hard uh, fast then please please do take a screenshot pause the video take a screenshot or uh, reduce the speed of the video so that you can get the more knowledge on this and uh, what is array 
so and even if you want more important questions of various subjects you can try exam update app which is available on play store and which is free to use so here you have what is an array dimensional array so we talk about single and multiple dimensions right and uh, control statements in java operator there is loop there is byte code uh, java buzzwords data type supported by java so these are the important questions you can check with this and uh, so again important topics in unit 2 forms of inheritance specialization class path polymorphism is an important topic in this unit 2 polymorphism you can expect a question from polymorphism and there is java packages so java packages and polymorphism are a little important topics now coming to important questions from unit 3 uh, unit 2 sorry you can check so basically if they ask like this uh, so this will be like one more question so inheritance of construction inheritance of extension in you know, a limitation combination so these are like this so write briefly about types of inheritance in java then super word inheritance and uh, explain type of access specifiers you are used in java and also illustrate with an example then what is interface how to implement interface in java so these are file output stream and file input stream so these are the important questions you can just check i can just take a screenshot as well so important topics unit 3 uh, so concept and benefits of exception handling and uh, thread and their priority what are thread so life cycle of thread is also important here there is a question called life cycle of thread which is a little important if you can just check with that you will understand that why it is important and thread and their priority obviously and uh, differences between multi-threading and multitasking daemon threads uh, and also try and catch blocks so here again important questions so i said that uh, you know uh, write a complete life cycle of thread with an example so question will be framed like this for life cycle of a thread and uh, how explain how exceptions are handled in java demonstration how exceptions are thrown java's built-in exception so these are basically the questions discuss thread priorities so we discuss threads and priorities in important topics so there might be question asked like this and explain about inter-thread communication and then important topics from unit 4 what would be event handling in event handling why i highlighted keyboard events because this keyboard event question paper was this e keyboard events uh, topic was uh, given in the previous question paper so i have highlighted highlighted that and also you can uh, check with event handling various event handling then there is awt class hierarchy user interface components delegation events then you have layout manager you need to know about uh, these are in this layout managers you have layout manager types in layout manager types again you have border grid grid flow card grid back etc etc so these are the important topics for unit 4 and uh, important topics for unit uh, important questions from unit 4 like short notes on event and uh, for you in short questions they might ask what is event what is an event source what is an event who are the event listeners etc like that and uh, here how events are categorized in java what are awt classes and hierarchy of awt write a short note on graphics awt like this or uh, discuss about list and panels layout managers we discuss so layout managers you will get a question like this and important uh, topics for unit 5 will be swing introduction and limitations of awt differences between applets and applications life cycle of applets mvc architecture j trees so basically the syllabus is so vast but i have handpicked some topics and uh, it need not to be necessary that only these topics will come in exam you need to prepare behind this you know try try preparing a little more other than this so that it you can assure that you will pass however you are going to pass because this is not that hard subject but uh, yeah and uh, important question for unit 5 you can check cycle or skeleton of applet basically this would be a, like a flowchart thing where you write applet and uh, how this goes applet goes uh, how to create an applet and uh, mvc architecture j field j field j text field and j text box j radio button these are all the important so now coming to our final segment which is previous question paper in previous question paper what questions they have asked they have asked in instance variables in java mentioned to ma major types of typecasting in java what is difference between interface and abstract class can a class implement two interfaces in java what is finally block what does at the rate overwrite innovation data scroll plane 
what is need of adapter class list limitations of awt we parameters of java applet so basically all these questions are just one line or two line if you can attempt then that is well and good it will help you in getting pass marks so this is how you are going to address this part a and uh, also highlight everything with the black pen and uh, write the answer with the blue pen so it looks attractive because everything here it is theory part uh, so in this theory part it will be difficult for an examiner to judge which question has started from first and which question has which question you have written next so just highlight the things with the uh, black pen for every question so that the uh, the whoever the value the evaluator might understand what answer is where so that it will be easy for you for him to correct or from them to correct and uh, for you to get marks now coming to the part b what you'll get in uh, what might you get in first unit single dimensional two dimensional array main purpose of garbage collection or they might ask anything about garbage collection while and for loops uh, write a java program to find factorial of a given number so here again i said in the starting that problems are not necessary but they might ask you to write programs here is a such example of my saying that write a java program they are asking you they are asking you to write a program to find factorial of a given number using recursion here by using recursion you have to write a program so that you can find a factorial for let's say two two factorial the uh, uh, you have to write an entire program by replacing the number just number uh, it should execute so you have to write the problem like that so now again from uh, the second unit write the benefits and limitations of the inheritance in java explain multi-level and hybrid inheritance packages in java difference between couple time polymorphism and runtime in polymorphism i said polymorphism is important then this is uh, one question has here it has appeared here so again in third unit you have how do you create a thread in java explain thread priorities importance multi-threading and they might ask from multitasking as well try and catch blocks and example you need to give one example of uh, try and catch blocks then benefits of exception handling in java keyboard event handling in java delegation event model awt labels applet a question from applet two types of applets again mvc architecture jframe trees and trees in java so these are the question guys I hope uh, you have uh, enough data in this video to prepare for your exams. So prepare well guys uh, because second year is really important for you uh, because this second year will decide how you are going to complete your engineering because if you if you find more and more backlogs here in the second year then it will be difficult for you in the coming days to clear those because second year is definitely more and more important for every student and uh, i hope you are you guys are doing well in your exams and uh, i wish you all the best until then please share the video like it and also subscribe it so that it will become a motivation for me to bring more and more important and uh, useful videos for you regarding your studies maybe your exams so please 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 do guys please share this guys share with your friends anywhere anywhere possible and uh, take care guys and all the best for your exams thank you